that when our students want to know whether or not they have a vagina or a penis, they have pictures from your staff to be able to help them. They don't have enough sex. They don't have enough anal sex. They need adults to tell them how to masturbate. And what I call that is... So here's what I'm asking you. You have a hard time hearing this from me, but this is for for 10 years old and up, and this bill was passed for five-year-olds. came to your school when she procures bids for ISU with construction and came to your school and spoke to your staff for two straight days. Why did she do that? This is why she did that. This is why she did that. To make sure that when our students want to know whether or not they have a vagina or a penis, they have pictures from your staff to be able to help them. They don't have enough sex. They don't have enough anal sex. They need adults to tell them how to masturbate. And what I call that is... So here's what I'm asking you. You have a hard time hearing this from me, but this is for for 10 years old and up, and this bill was passed for five-year-olds. And you have a hard time me sitting here telling you the words anal sex, masturbation. That's hard for you or the time's up? Because the time's not really up. I don't believe you, Mr. Wiley, that my time is up. But I'm going to end with this. I'll, I'll close with this because this was too much for you. I can tell right now. And that's why you're cutting me off. But last time I said, you know what? Critical race theory. Little girl in the back was laughing every single time Megan said something because white people oppress black people, right? Is it your principal black? Is it your mayor black? Now I would like to introduce to you Ty Smith. My guidance counselor's response to my concerns about bathroom privacy and safety was, well, there are stalls in the bathrooms. Now boys are reading erotica in the classrooms next to girls, and you want to give them access to girls' locker rooms, and you want to force girls to call those boys she. You do this in the name of inclusivity while ignoring the girls who will pay the price. Your policies choose boys' wants over girls' needs. Two years ago, I was told policy 1040 was just an umbrella philosophy, and you weren't going to allow boys into the girls' locker rooms. But here you are doing just that. Everyone knows what a boy is, even you. Your proposed policies are dangerous and rooted in sexism. When woke kids asked me if I was a lesbian or a trans boy because I cut my hair short, it should tell you these modern identities are superficial. My guidance counselor's response to my concerns about bathroom privacy and safety was, well, there are stalls in the bathrooms. Now boys are reading erotica in the classrooms next to girls, and you want to give them access to girls' locker rooms, and you want to force girls to call those boys she. You do this in the name of inclusivity while ignoring the girls who will pay the price. Your policies choose boys' wants over girls' needs.